Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the latest edition of the Jake Stick with Jacob Aliashar podcast. I am your host, Jacob Aliashar, the chief content producer and writer of jakestick.com, a pop culture entertainment news website. If you're listening to this on our many of our audio platforms, please give us a five-star rating and please subscribe. Today, it's just me. I'm riding solo. And once again, it's time for our best of the year show. Before we get started, I want to say thank you to everyone who has listened or watched my conversations this year. I want to give a special shout out to listeners in the United States, Canada, India, Sweden, United Kingdom, the Philippines, Pakistan, Germany, Brazil, and Japan. Thank you for being the top 10 countries that listen to the most to the podcast the most this year. In fact, we have listeners from 105 countries around the world. Thank you all so much. I am blessed to know that this is an international show. I also want to say a huge thank you to all of the guests and their publicists and their teams for trusting me in my platform to have conversations. Oh, I had an incredible group of guests this year. They all came from different backgrounds that range from content creation, music, movies, and television. It was very difficult to pick out 10 conversations. But however, I would highly recommend you go to my YouTube channel, Jacob Elyashar, J-A-C-O-B-E-L-Y-A-C-H-A-R, or to any of our Jake's Take with Jacob Elyashar's listening platform to listen to these conversations. Here are my top 10 conversations this year. I got to kick things off with the one and only Howie Mandel. He came on to the Jake's Take with Jacob Elyashar podcast to talk about Canada's Got Talent's return to Canadian television after a decade of being absent. I enjoyed and treasure every single minute I spoke with Howie Solo because the only time I was able to speak with him before this podcast was during America's Got Talent's virtual press rooms. Where I only had, where he, had, where I only asked him five questions, and he answered all five of them. So thank you so much, Howie. Now the winner of season two of Canada's Got Talent, Jake's Take friend Janique Fournier, who won that season, will be performing in front of Howie, Heidi Klum, and Simon Cowell on AGT All Stars, which will be airing on NBC and Peacock. Moving on to Emmy winning reporter and Unchained TV founder Jane Velez Mitchell. Now, she visited us back in July, and she spoke about her network, which profiles vegan activists and celebrities and also reports on animal rights, protests, campaigns, and more. I was very interested in my conversation with Jane. I love that she shared her passion on vegan news and and creating a whole media outlet towards that movement. It's just unreal. In fact... They had Pig Little Lies, the finale. She was talking about that. It always makes me smile when I listen to that conversation. So I highly recommend if you want to see someone who's passionate about their jobs, check out my conversation with Jane. We had our third Halloween episode this year. Actually, make a second Halloween episode this year. But it was with my actor Cameron Copperway. Now, he shared his Halloween traditions, and he also gives insight behind the scenes of the American Horror Story franchise, including American Horror Story Cult and also the anthology spinoff American Horror Stories. I really think if you need a good spooky scare, listen to that conversation. I also want to give a shout out to country music songwriter and singer John Morgan. Now, he visited the podcast back in August to talk about competing on NBC's American Song Contest. His song, Right in the Middle, took him all the way to the semifinals. In addition to that, he also co-wrote two of Jason Aldean's biggest hits of the decade so far. And he also spoke about touring with the singer on his rock and roll cowboy tour. I definitely think John Morgan is going to be a, a future name in the country music world. Moving on to one of my most serious conversations I had this year, it was with talent manager Brad R. Lambert. His life was turned upside down when The Wrap published an unflattering article about him. I truly admire his strength of persevering through the hell that he went through 
I'm grateful grateful for all for our paths crossing this year, and I cannot wait to see what he does next. Moving on to an OG and a reality TV OG and country music singer-songwriter, John Brennan. Now, he visited the podcast back in August, and I want to thank my friend, Mike Lewis, of the Mike Lewis Podcast for introducing us. When John visited, he spoke out on reuniting with his real-world Los Angeles roommates on Paramount Plus's homecoming and his desire to compete on the show's the Challenge All-Stars, which, by the way, I really want to see him being there and kicking butt. I'm sorry, but Brad, Derek, you can sit off the season. Let John have a chance to shine for once. And I also loved hearing of John's experiences about opening up for country legend George Jones and performing on the Grand Old Opry stage. I want to give a shout out to actor Muhammad Kareem, who visited the podcast earlier this year. He spoke about working with Bruce Willis in the movie A Day to Die. And this was one of Bruce Willis's final films that he made before he retired from acting due to his personal health issues. And I also loved hearing Muhammad's experience hosting NBC The Voice, which is the Middle East version of The Voice. And I also want to congratulate Muhammad as his video is the most viewed conversation of 2022. Now you can catch it on my YouTube channel, which is Jacob Eliashar, J-A-C-O-B-E-L-Y-A-C-H-A-R. Moving on, we have Dr. Cheyenne Bryant. She visited us back in May, and I loved learning about her activism in the Los Angeles County and her involvement with the Teen Mom cast, especially loved hearing how she, Dr. Bryant said that every time she visited the cast, her that they've always remembered the lessons that she taught them and also how her children how their children have been encouraging them, the moms, to share Dr. Brian's lessons and incorporate them into their homes. I have always wondered about cryptocurrency, so I was grateful when the crypto queen herself, actress Darcy Donovan, visited the podcast to talk about her involvement in the crypto world. I also loved hearing about her and her take on Anchorman's impact on pop culture, as Anchorman is one of my all-time favorite comedies that I laugh at love, belly laughing. And like Darcy said, you check your you check your brain right at the door. Rounding out this top 10 is my 20 of um, the best podcast of 2022 is my big 200th episode. I never thought I would get to 200 episodes. When I filmed this back this pilot back with in 2019 with Brett Wagamont. I never thought this would last this long. So I want to say thank you to each and every one of you for listening to this podcast. And what made the 200th episode so special, besides being the third anniversary of the podcast, was also its guest. My dear friend, Beatrice Kimmel, uh, the president of the New York-based Impact PR. I love learning about Bee's career and and her phrase of the publicist high. I want to thank B and Impact PR support of the Jake Sacred Jacob LHA brand over the past decade. And I'm looking forward to working with you in 2023. Now, as 2022 concludes, please check out my favorite reality TV performances of the year on jake-take.com. Once again, jake-take.com. The list includes Amber Riley. Avery Dixon, who is also competing on America's Got Talent All-Stars, Chapel Hart, Cheyenne Jackson, Drake Milligan, Shanika Fonier, Jennifer Holliday, Michael Bolton, Tom Ball from Britain's Got Talent, who will also be competing on AGT All-Stars, the Welsh West End, and Wilson Phillips. And again, you can check that article out on jakes-take.com. You need to find out new music from your, uh, from 2022. You can check out my favorite songs playlist on Spotify. It's just typing Jake's Take Favorite Songs of 2022. The artists that are featured on this playlist include Ann Wilson, The Backstreet Boys, Camilla Cabello, and Ed Sheeran, Carlton Stone, Sir Elton John, and Britney Spears, Kane Brown, Lizzo, Orville Peck, Pink, Rihanna, and the cast of cast of MJ the Musical and Zombies 3. Guys, thank you so much for watching, or thank you so much for listening to this podcast. If you are listening to this podcast and you want to find out where we are, 
you if you miss an episode, we are on Apple Podcasts, Deezer, Google Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Podcast Addict, Spotify, and Spreaker. Once again, Jake's Take with Jacob Elisha, J-A-C-O-B-E-L-Y-A-C-H-A-R. Now, are you on social media? Because I'm on social media too. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Jacob Elisha, J-A-C-O-B-E-L-Y-A-C-H-A-R. Now, the blog that started it all, jakes.shake.com, is celebrating its 12th year next year. So to visit more articles interviews, reviews, plus my recaps for America's Got Talent, Mass Singer, and AGT All-Stars, head to jakes-take.com. Guys, thank you so much for spending 2022 with me. I really appreciate all of you. You are amazing. Thank you so much for listening. And I also want to give you give a huge shout out to my family, the LHR family, my immediate family, Gloria, Matthew, my parents, Aaron and Whitney, my brother and sister-in-law, my incredible niece and nephews, Emery May, Nash Carey, and of course, Maxwell Manning, Don Eliashar. I love you all to pieces. Thank you so much, everyone, for taking time out of your schedule to listen to this. Enjoy the remaining days of the holiday season. I hope each and every one of you have an incredible 2023. Until next time, have a great one, everybody. Goodbye.